All right, today we're going to check out the uh, MOS deals that we get through our our emails. This is from the MOS. So these are just alerts. So these alerts are coming from keywords, keywords such as short sales. Anytime there's a word short sales, these properties will pop up immediately. So some of them are new, some of them are old on the market. If you look at Country Club Brentwood, that's 1226. So it hasn't moved since December 1226. So this one, um, we looked at briefly before, it's move in condition, not much room to negotiate. At the same time, it's been on the market for 1226. So looking at that, there might be a potential still to uh, negotiate because uh, it's been on the market for so long. So let's go ahead and take a look at these properties one by one and then we're gonna see if there's any spread. So first one, first step is you're always gonna Google the address. So let's go ahead and take a look at Hayward. So I'm gonna copy this real quick. Look at Hayward. We're gonna try to see, first it has a pass test one, test one. Is there a 100K spread from listing price to ARV? 100K is pretty good. Um, that's all we really need, 100K spread. So go ahead and Google. Let's see. So what's, what's good about this one, uh, Ken? Um, it's a... Uh it's very large, 1653 square feet, two beds, one and a half bath. The home is in um, pretty outdated condition, so that gives us a little bit of room for negotiation of the thing. Okay, so how's it outdated? It needs remodeling, so there's some room for negotiation. Um, what about the potential of this property. This property looks like it's right next to the highway. So the backyard's actually facing the highway. That could be a very bad thing, very noisy. Um, house is back up to the highway. Not many people like that. It's, uh, it's noisy. They can't open their windows at night because they're always dealing with, with the noise. So this one's interesting. There's a, looking at the pictures, it, it might even be two story. The right side has a bottom window and a top window, so I think it's actually two-story. Um, there's an open house Sunday, 12 p.m., so that means uh, competition, a lot of competition. It says, look at the square footage on the descriptions. Detached garage, that's good. Hardwood floors. Um, okay. Square footage and garage bathrooms do not match public records. So that's interesting. Um, why doesn't it match public wet records? So we have to check the tax records. So right now it's showing at 1,600 square feet. So I'm just going to type out some information to bath to bath. 1,653 square feet. Just type out what we know for now. Um, let's go ahead and click through the pictures. Click through. So hardwood is good. The paint is actually pretty good. It's just outdated. What does actually the, there's some uh, stains on the hardwood, so we probably need to restain the whole house. What else do we need to fix the house? Let's see. Definitely a kitchen. So the kitchen needs remodeling. So that right away. Now this is interesting. So kitchen. Kitchen needs uh, updating. However, the kitchen is in good condition. If you look at the condition, even though it's green tiles, old, but you look at the cabinets, it's actually still good condition. So do you really need to update the kitchen? Cabinets still in good condition. So maybe we just have to update the, the countertops, right? So what if we just update the countertops to granite or something newer? But as far as the condition of the house, it's actually pretty good. The electrical on the outside of the wall. The electricals. <laughs> um, yeah, the bathrooms are definitely outdated. So bathrooms, 
The bathrooms are outdated, but it's not bad condition. So same thing. It's, look at the sink. It's actually pretty good condition. Look at the showers. Look at the rooms. It's old, but um, fairly nice. I would say. I would say it's fairly nice. So this one, we have to think. What can we do? What can we do? Mm. Let's go ahead and jump on. This one is still. I think it's still pretty interesting because it's 1,600 square feet. I don't know how long it's been listed on the market, but Red Fin says 346 days. What does Zillow listed from 6 29, 16. Is that really the original? It could be that uh, they tried to list it in the past, maybe with a different agent. Um, we don't exactly know what's going on here. But if you look at properties nearby, for sale all on the bottom of Zillow you get a price range of 600 wow a lot of different price ranges um, there is one drawback on this property it looks like it might be it kind of looks like a main road foothills so actually no foothills not the freeway foothills is the main road so foot Foot Hills is the main road. That's also a uh, bad drawback. A lot of buyers don't like that. Their kids can't play in the front yard. Um, it's hard to hard to leave the parking in the morning when there's cars in the street. But I still think this one's interesting. So why don't we just hop on the MOS and uh, get an idea of what's going on in the area. So let's do that. So let's hop on REIL.com because we want Hayward. to see, what's that? Hayward. Yeah, for Hayward. So Hayward is what county? So the first we think city, and then what county is that? Alameda County. And then we have to think, how do we access that MOS? So REIL.com, and then we're gonna click in uh, East Bay Regional Data, which is also known as Paragon. Paragon. Okay, so we're gonna log in real quick. And we're gonna do the map search. You guys loading? Uh, I, I realized that you were using the same account that I got out. Oh, yeah. just, just hop on a different one. Just hop on a different one. On uh, a different Yeah. There's only one. There's plenty. Yeah. So let me email you. Let me see. Okay, so now we'll do the radius search real quick. Just get a brief idea of what's going on in this area. We're not gonna look um, in full detail until we really know that this area can hit 650. Uh, Listed for 530. We want to see if we can hit 650 and we just want to dig more information about the property so let's go ahead and copy the property address right here um, first so with the map search we always have to do the three criteria that we're always hitting First is all the statuses. Make sure you hit all the statuses. Wait, I use that screen. I'm already on the map. Okay. So, so go search residential. Search residential. Search residential, and then click on the little magnifying. So on status, click on the little magnifying glass. You want to click everything. You want to see the full picture, which is pending, sold, expired, withdrawn. You want to see every little status. Next is the uh, time frame. So on the bottom, this has date range. So you want to put off market um, 12 months and closing date um, 12 months. Let's stretch it out a year. Sometimes we do three to six months, sometimes we do a year. Um, so off market uh, dates equal 12 months back. 
uh, closing date equals 12 months back. So let's go all the way back. And then third step is click here to start map search. So we're going to click on um, coverage area. We're going to draw the coverage area because we don't want to look at properties that far away from us. So now we're going to go into the coverage area. Um, let's go ahead and copy and paste the address so it pops to the copy address. So it's right there, foothills, perfect. Now we are going to zoom in a little bit. We want to understand what's happening in this neighborhood. Now this area is tricky because there's not many houses on Cotter Way and Cotter Way is, I don't know if it's on the main road because Cotter Way looks like it's facing uh, maybe we're actually lucky it's not on the main road because Foothill is the main road but Carter Way is kind of tucked in so that's a good sign Carter Way is tucked in so let's go ahead and draw a polygon let's start from the corner of Foothill and Maddox Road and let's go down a little bit here I am stretching farther than normal uh, usually I would just stretch um, starting at Grove Way but since this one is interesting, I just want to see a price range of the area. Uh, looking at this, there are some homes that hit 650. So we see price range, price range equals uh, up to. I see 385. That's very low. So let's say 400k to 650k. So pretty big spread. And all these 600,000s are actually down here. So for some reason, this area is hitting higher. Maybe it's newer built houses. Uh, we don't know yet. So let's go ahead and click search now. And then we'll start looking at each comp uh, pretty briefly. Since this deal is an MOS deal, it's not, uh, it's not for certain we can even win it. That's one. Two the coverage the um, price range is kind of shaky we're not doing a full on comparable just yet we're just kind of looking briefly so Cotterway status PRCS PRCS so what does that mean PRCS so let's go ahead and click on that I think it means pending contingent Oh, price change. That's what it means. Price change short sale. So that's really good. So that means um, the bank and the seller, uh, or the seller at least, is getting desperate and they want to just uh, push out this property. So let's see if there's any agent remarks. Contact broker about writing in expected compensation. You're submitting an offer for property. Subject to IRS lien approval, copies of permits on file, so that's good, there's permits. IRS lien approval. So IRS, lien, IRS liens means the owner owes IRS and before they can sell this house, yes, they take the proceeds. So the proceeds from this bank, I mean from this sale, the proceeds from this sale will pay the... RS, but if you look at the original price, 520, and then they bumped it up to 530, something doesn't sound right. There's something weird going on. So they bumped up the price. Maybe it's because the original list date, 629, maybe they tried listing it a long time ago, 629 was original 520. So we don't really know exactly. But um, let's go ahead and look at the tax record. Let's get an idea of what's going on with the homeowner. So now we're going to go back to our MOS listing, REIL.com website. We're going to click on Realist so we can access the tax record. Realist is that button on the right. If you click here, Realist right here. So Realist, and then we're going to copy and paste the property address. Okay, let's figure out what's going on with the seller. So it's a short sale, so most likely they're behind on payments. 
Um, what else is interesting? So let's see. We're gonna figure out how much they owe in the loan, things like that. So we get a good idea who the bank is and all that. So the tax record is actually showing uh, 1264 square feet. Tax record is showing 1264 square feet. The MOS is showing uh, 1653. So there's a difference of almost 400, uh, 400 square feet. So that's probably an addition somewhere. Uh, somewhere. And the <coughs> there's addition somewhere, and the MOS says there are permits, so that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Actually, if you look up here, John and Sandra is the owner. John and Sandra is the owner, but they live somewhere else because uh, there's a different building address. So that means this property is actually a uh, rental property. A very nice rental. Uh, pretty good condition for a rental and if you scroll all the way down there's a notice of trustee sell so they're missing their payments starting in 2000 looks like they've been having problems since uh, January 2016 they've been having problems for a very long time so 2016 they couldn't make payments um, starting January 2016, they were forty thousand dollars behind. They caught up, and they missed payments again. Notice of default. So another notice of default in December 2016. So they keep on playing this game of catch up, and they're unable to. They're unable to um, sell the property. Their loan amount is four ninety six. Or actually no, their loan amount is four sixty seven. They got a loan back in two thousand six. If you look at the mortgage history, they got a loan in two thousand six. So they owe at least four sixty plus the default. So that's probably how that added up to four ninety six. If you look at the bottom, so there is owing uh, four ninety six. They currently oh 496k so now we have to um, we have to see so basically if we're looking at this if they sell for 530k um, they have a little bit of equity that's 30k that will only cover commissions and things like that so they're not gonna make anything not they're not gonna make anything won't uh, make uh, anything from the sale so with the short sale maybe we can actually even negotiate a lower price so negotiating with the bank is a whole nother skill too not many uh, agents are good at that so this agent is Anna May maybe we can call her and kind of figure out what's happening or what's going on with this one There might be a spread. We might be able be able to even get a lower price. Um, we don't know. So there's a open house on June 11th. So most likely she's gonna get some buyers through, and she she might even get some offers. So it's 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 still fresh. The listing has not been on the market for more than 30 days. So seller is not seller is motivated, but they're not like super motivated so let's look at uh, let's look at some more content area there's another active for 648 and it's 61 days on the market so what does that mean that means no one's buying a house for 648 so that's also interesting so if we click on the active listing 648 and it says updated so let's check it out it's actually zoned for commercial too so it has a double value condition is fairly good inside not the nicest but uh, you, kitchen is pretty nice 
Yeah, so it has a commercial usage, so some people might like it. They can um, they do like tax service or an office in there. So let's look at uh, the other one that sold for six fifty. Um, that's in two thousand sixteen. So pretty interesting area overall. Five thirty might be a little too high for us to buy. If we look at the main street, that's a Victorian house. Victorian means that uh, it's a little bit older. So you look at the year built, 1900. Our year built is probably newer than that. I'm not sure what is our year built, but it's probably newer than that. 1940. 1940, so we're much newer. So this Victorian area is probably more desirable than our area because it's, um, it's like a unique property and it's all fixed up so that's probably how it hit 650 for us to hit 650 probably not probably might be tough might be tough so we probably just throw, thinking out loud I think our AV it may be 600 to 625k all fixed up maybe even less because it's barely moving at 530 so you look at other properties for sale um, this area is a little tricky, and a lot of high days on the market, 50 days on the market. So this one, before we can even negotiate with the uh, seller, before we can even negotiate, uh, we have to wait it out because they're going to have their open house and they're going to bring in buyers and they're not that motivate to sell low to us. They're going to try to sell for at least near list price first and no one buys it and then they will take lower offers maybe 500k or even 450, 450k to 475k. So it takes time. Um, let's see how it goes. What we can do in the meantime in the meantime we can always um, email the listing agent and say hello I'm interested in this property but uh, I want to see if we can get it for a lower price and we'll see how responsive the agent is if she's responsive then she wants to work with you if she's not responsive then it might be a waste of time because they don't want to they don't want to negotiate a low price for you get yeah they might get higher <coughs> offers so they're, they're not going to waste their time with you so it's always worth a shot. Just send out email. Hello, I saw your listing. I wanted to see if um, you're willing to represent us. And we were thinking about buying it a little bit lower, lower than this price. Lower than this price. So we'll see how they respond. If they say okay, might be a possibility. Then that's when uh, we start the communication. Right now, we have no communication with the agents. So right now, it's basically a blank state. So is this one a good deal? Um, we don't know until until the agent responds and we'll see what happens at the open house. So if they get a lot of buyers at the open house, then it's not really a good deal. If they don't get a lot of buyers and they're motivated, they want to take a lower offer, then possibly it could be a good deal since it's a short sell. So short sales means that uh, we're negotiating with the bank, not the owner. So the owner does not care how much they buy, it, we buy it for. They just want to get rid of it. They don't want a foreclosure on their record. So it could be, well, this we'll call this like a um, like a warm lead. It takes a lot of negotiating to turn into a good lead. So let's say if we do buy it for like four hundred and fifty thousand, and we put in fifty thousand to fix it up, that's five hundred grand, and then we sell for six hundred. That's a hundred thousand. Um, gross profit so we could make some money but it just depends on how low we can negotiate with the bank so let's go ahead and try to reach out to the bank first I mean the agent first see how receptive they are and see how it goes after the open house so we're gonna to be continue this